The controversial Taro protocol is ready for testing. The initial version of the code is available on GitHub, and it enables developers to mint, send, and receive assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. Notice that the company isn't talking about the Lightning Network yet. In a blog post announcing the Taro launch, Lightning Labs promised, once the on-chain functionality is complete, we'll work towards integrating the Taro protocol into LND, bringing Taro assets to the Lightning Network. This is the first step of many and it's mainly aimed at developers. According to Lightning Labs, this initial release is only designed for testnet usage as a way for developers to start using the code. That means, no real value is flowing through Taro at the moment. But, what is Taro anyway? The blog post defines it as a taproot-powered protocol for issuing assets that can be transferred over Bitcoin and in the future, the Lightning Network for instant, high-volume, low-fee transactions. Taro will enable stable coins to travel through Lightning. This is a multifaceted protocol that allows many things, but the feature everyone is excited about is the fusion of stable coins with the Lightning Network. It's controversial because you have to trust the issuer of stable coins, which means they come with counterparty risk. Bitcoin doesn't have that problem. In any case, in the subsection titled The First Step Towards Bitcoinizing the Dollar, Lightning Labs tries to convince us that stable coins over Lightning are a good idea. With Taro and the incredible developer community, we can build follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.